Hi and welcome back to my channel. I am BXP, your friendly artist. So I have some very exciting news. I've been accepted to join this year's Pancakes and Booze Art Show 2022. So this is my first art show, so I'm very nervous, but also very excited. I got accepted like a few months before the show, so I've been really rushing to get new paintings out, as well as new merchandise slash products, so I can be able to sell something. In this video, I'll be showing some um, paintings that I'm doing, trying to squeeze in <laughs> before the show, as well as you'll see the installations, because I know so I wanted to see that in some other people's videos when I was like looking it up, so... I'll be talking about some of that, as well as the show, because that is the main, main fun part of it. I'm almost done with this painting, I just feel like something is missing. So I changed the little leaves, I liked them at first, but I realized I didn't want them to be the main focus. I think it's cute. I'm taking a little break, today's gloomy rainy day makes me want to just relax and take a nap. Although I wish I could. At least I'm almost done. I added new details and I just need to finish the sides now. And just like that, I'm all done. I'm super happy with this painting. I think the small details truly are adding more to this piece. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm still trying to get used to filming. I use my phone to make videos and sometimes catching good angles, like right now, can be a learning process. By the way, right now, I'm using my paint bottles as props to hold my phone. I'll keep figuring out different methods until I can afford something more convenient. Not only is the whole filming thing something I'm trying to get used to, but also just remembering to do so. There's been far too many times that I don't catch parts of the painting process, even in this video. I'm going to excuse myself by saying that I'm running out of space on my phone, so hopefully you'll forgive me for all these halfway painting videos. By the way, look how cute this clay magnet turned out. Super cute. Anyways, now onto my wood ornament. I'm honestly enjoying using paint for this one. Last year, my wood ornaments were made by Posca markers, which would have been fine if they were the thin ones, but nah, they were the thick boys and made it difficult for me. I also recently bought a small wood burner, which I'll be incorporating for my wood ornaments next year. I just need to get some practice in. <laughs> I may not have me finishing it, but here's a pic of it once done. Today is the art show! I am wrapping my paintings so on the way there and back, they will not get damaged. To be honest, it feels like Christmas with all this wrapping. My wall looks so empty and sad without my paintings. It makes me not want to sell them. Goodness, it's a very rainy day and it's cold as fuck. My partner is helping me set up, although I brought a stool I still cannot reach. We came a bit early, I have anxiety when it comes to new places, so I always want to be early just in case. As we continue to set up, more people start to show up as well. I can already tell that these walls are going to be filled up with amazing talented artists. I am honestly thankful to have this opportunity. Now that we're done setting up, I'm trying to get a little sneak peek as once the show starts, I'll be my post and won't have much time to look. You can see the little top head of my painting right in the middle. We are on our way back home so we can get ready for the show. I am very nervous but super excited. I know some of my family and friends are stopping by, so definitely looking forward to seeing them. For now, I'll just enjoy the ride there. The venue is by downtown, so we get a nice view of the city. Here we are at Pancakes and Booze Art Show. I'm displaying five paintings and the rest is merch that fits in this box. I didn't want to leave my post alone, so I'm having my partner film the show and you can see me there with the little pink hair. Oh my goodness, hello! <laughs> I'm glad he was able to film as I couldn't take too much time walking around. I did leave my post for a minute later in the night to see other amazing artists work, but I definitely missed many things as I was rushing to get back to my area. 
I don't recommend leaving your post alone as people can take small items while no one is looking and most of all you might miss someone that is interested in buying. I am mostly posting this video for artists and buyers that are interested in attending such shows. One of my pet peeves is wanting to go somewhere and not having an idea on what it looks like. Is it my vibe? Will it be crowded? Or will there be no foot traffic? What kind of individuals will be attending? All good things to know for someone selling, to know the demographic, or someone just attending to know if it's worth showing up. From my experience, I think this art show is definitely worth showing up for. There is a wide range of artists and styles that you are bound to find something that you would like. And for artists, it is definitely lively, so there are many opportunities for someone to find you. So the show was a success. <laughs> So it's funny because the first two items that you see in this video that I'm trying to squeeze in right before the show, um, not right before, but you know, like a day or two before um, the show, ended up selling, ended up selling out. So that was very exciting. I'm actually very glad that I ended up doing those pieces. Also, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that came to support me on this huge milestone because it was nerve-wracking, but seeing some familiar faces, seeing the people that I really care about come and support me really meant a lot. My friends and family have been a huge, huge support in all of this. I honestly don't know where I would be without them, to be honest. Overall, this experience was incredible, and I am very excited and hopeful that I will get to join 2023's Pancakes and Booze Art Show, just because I really want to come with more paintings and fill up that wall a little bit more. Um, yeah. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts down below, as well as give a like if you enjoy watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe down below. I post one video once a month. You can hit the little bell to stay connected with me. And if not, you can follow me on social media. It will be linked down below as well.